Hi guys, it's Brian, and for this video, I'm doing a science experiment that I've done uh, about nine months ago, uh, last November, and it's the solar hot dog cooker, if you can see it. Anyway, so last time I did it was in the winter, so it didn't turn out that well, but right now it's summer in the middle of August and it's about four o'clock right now so uh, let's just see how well this cooks all right guys so here's the hot dog right now it the color seems a lot more darker and it's a lot warmer since the last time it was out in, of the fridge uh, if you guys are wondering why I did this experiment at four because Usually in the summertime, in California, 4 to 5 is the sunniest time. And also, I'm using a turkey hot dog. So, I'll check back in another 15 minutes uh, and see how well this cooks. Alright, so see you then. Uh, here I am guys, it's been another 15 minutes. And it looks kind of the same. It's just a bit more oily, uh, but uh, I'll say that this experiment was a lot more successful than uh, nine months ago. So I'm gonna do this experiment again tomorrow, but instead of in uh, afternoon, I'm gonna do it like around noon time. So we'll just see how well that one cooks up. So I'll see you later. Bye. Okay guys, so uh, previously just said that the hot dog was pretty much the same and it wasn't really fully cooked. But now that I bring it inside, it actually is uh, quite uh, cooked well. So uh, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to do another experiment but in the noon time. And uh, let's just see uh, which one uh, cooks the best and the fastest. Alright, so I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, so now I'm testing the second hot dog at 12 o'clock noon. So I will be cooking this in 30 minutes total. And I'll be checking every 15 minutes to see how well it's cooked. So I'll see you then. So it's been 15 minutes and it seems that the color... It's a lot darker now. Uh, I'll just check back in another 15 minutes and we'll see how well it's cooked. Now that I'm done with this experiment, you can see that these hot dogs are cooked. So in conclusion, the advantages to the solar cooker is that it's eco-friendly, which means it doesn't require gas or electricity, making it uh, convenient and unharmful to the environment. Also, it's free. The disadvantages to the, of the cooker is that it requires sunlight, which means it would be very hard to use this in winter months. Also, this requires a lot of time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this experiment and hope you found it useful for your own science project. And Michael, if you're watching this, uh, I'd just like to let you know that our solar hot dog experiment works.